this year marks a big celebration for the folks at the USS Lexington Museum. That's because it's the 30th anniversary of the ship being brought to her final stop right here in Corpus Christi. The aircraft carrier played a significant role in the nation's defense for nearly 50 years before she was finally decommissioned. Tonight, our Bill Churchwell has a look back at the ship's impressive history and what's in the works to celebrate this milestone. It's said Corpus Christi is the perfect place to retire. For the last three decades, this long overworked aircraft carrier has found a good home. Quite an honor to be able to be part of a project this big. A project Charles Russell has been part of almost every single day since the ship's arrival. I mean, if you can imagine, we didn't have a pier. We had no, no exhibits at all. It was just one big empty ship. A lot has changed over the last 30 years, but one thing remains. The history lesson on where this massive vessel has been. The USS Lexington, known as the oldest working carrier in the U.S. Navy, playing a vital role during World War II even earning the nickname the Blue Ghost. The ship also carrying an important legacy for women in the Navy as the first aircraft carrier to have women stationed as crew members. You can learn more about it in this brand new exhibit. If you've ever been to the USS Lexington Museum, you need to come back. You haven't seen what we have now. Captain Steve Banta, the Lexington's executive director, says the museum has no doubt become an iconic part of the Corpus Christi Bayfront welcoming over 8 million visitors since 1992. So every one of those people, they come here, most of them are from out of town, and they come here, they stay in the hotels, they eat at the restaurants. This is a big economic impact for the local area. Finding purpose even after being decommissioned, but the city faced some stiff competition with several other communities to get here. You know, the, the ship could have been somewhere else if not for landing Force 16 and if not for the city and the community being so supportive of the military in general. The ship arrived from Pensacola, Florida to Naval Station Ingleside in January of 92 before she was towed to her final stop on North Beach later in the year. This November, she will celebrate 30 years in the coastal bend. 30 years has been like a, an addendum to our history. The museum has been the backdrop for everything from remembrance ceremonies to even movies like 2001's Pearl Harbor with Ben Affleck. Still, its main purpose remains to tell her story. We plan to be here for many years to come, and it's going to be exciting. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. And Steve Banta added that he's working to host a big party to celebrate the ship's 30th anniversary, a way to honor those who served aboard, but also the dozens of staff and volunteers who keep the ship open and operational.